Well, get your dental floss or your water pick ready. Sweet corn lovers, you'll have your chance to satisfy your taste buds this weekend. 10 News reporter Kelly King shows us what to expect at the annual festival that is happening this weekend and why it brings so many people to Fairborn. The annual Sweet Corn Festival is making a return to Fairborn this weekend. It's being held here at Community Park. It's the 40th year for the event and it attracts roughly 20,000 to 30,000 people. It's the sweetest thing and the corniest happening in Fairborn this weekend. You'll see people all over uh, just chomping down on a nice big ear of corn. Brentlingers makes some of the best tasting sweet corn that you can imagine. Sweet Corn Festival Chair Warren Brown has been volunteering since the beginning. I was involved with the very first one back in 1982 and then the last 10, though, I've been the chairperson. People from all over come to Fairborn over the course of the weekend to satisfy their sweet corn cravings, whether they like it salted, buttered, or just plain. It's got this kind of sweet taste to it, uh, and it's just like you could eat three or four years and not even slow down. While sweet corn is the main attraction. Beyond that, it's pretty corn free. The festival offers other food that doesn't necessarily require dental floss. Barbecue chicken and uh, Hungarian cabbage rolls. Uh, uh, I love those. More than 130 vendors have signed up. This year, no corn eating contest, but a corn hole contest instead. There will be plenty of free entertainment and even royalty on hand. We've invited our kings and queens from the past to come and be recognized at the festival. The festival is being held Saturday from 11 to 7 and Sunday from 11 to 6. Reporting in Fairborn, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.